Going back to my childhood as a vegetable shop owner, daughter, because it was a suburb and countryside, the mentality is totally different. A woman is just like a support for the man. My height is 170 centimeters, and my auntie said, don't grow anymore because the, you will be taller than man, and the kimono won't suit you anymore. In London, as you know, that uh, there is like a what, uh, gentleman or ladies first. I felt man treated woman more than I can expect. In Singapore, my friends, lots of them are women, and I felt that in Singapore, uh, women can uh, express themselves. One of the first occasions I started to look at politics was my mother's illness. Uh, she got a stroke when she was only 51 years old and that time my life was not settled then financially and my family was suffering from my mother's illness. I felt um, really no hope of my life but um, start to realize the importance of the public service and how much the public service they provide is decided by the politics. There was one occasion I was out in the speech at the station. I had my poster board and there was uh, one person kicked that board and I said, this is not acceptable. Then that person said, Oh, you are just a woman. For me, it's like disappointing, but makes me feel, okay, let me challenge. <laughs> there is a big uh, expectation that women candidate on their homepage always have to say, my family is husband and two kids. You don't see much with the men. And I feel a little strange about it. It shouldn't be just women who have to talk about family or private. I think most importantly, eh, don't give up and always appreciate whoever you meet. We call the Japanese value N is uh, maybe in Chinese guanxi, uh, relationship with the people that you meet. Don't look people just whether it's beneficial relationship, but just appreciate um, whoever you meet and respect those people. And that is the key I think um, brought me so far here.